So now I want to go over some more examples on changing decimals into fractions. In our first example, we have 0 0.3. And the important thing that you have to look at is your last digit all the way to the right. Notice our last digit all the way to the right is our 3. Notice that is one unit to the right of the decimal. And in this example that I wrote for you on the bottom left part of our screen, notice how one digit to the right of the decimal is your tenths unit. So we know this 3, which is one unit to the right of the decimal, is also our tenths unit. And we know, since our last digit is the tenths unit, that our fraction is also going to be out of 10. And how many tenths do we have? We have 3 tenths. And you always need to simplify or reduce the fraction as much as possible. This fraction is already in lowest terms, so this is our final answer. Moving on to our next example, here we have 0 0.025. Once again, the important thing you have to look at is the last digit to the right of the decimal. And notice our last digit to the right is a 5. And also notice how it is 3 units to the right of the point. And from this example I wrote for you in the bottom left part of the screen, the third unit to the right of the decimal is your thousandths unit. So our last digit in this example, the 5, is in the thousandths unit. And since the last digit is in the thousandths unit, we know that our fraction is going to be out of a thousand. And how many thousands do we have? We have 25 thousands. So in the numerator, I'm going to put 25. And we always need to simplify the fraction as much as possible. Notice how the numerator and the denominator can both be divided by 25 evenly. So I'm going to divide both the top and bottom by 25. And after we simplify the fraction in the numerator, we have 25 divided by 25, which is just 1. And in the denominator, we have 1,000 divided by 25. You might need to use your calculator. But 1,000 divided by 25 is 40. So the decimal point 0, 0.025 as a fraction is 1 over 40. So now let's move on to our last example. Here we have 1.75. And notice how we have a whole number of 1 plus the decimal of 0.75. So I'm going to separate this, and I'm going to write the whole number of 1 plus the decimal of 0.75, but instead of writing it as a decimal, we need to write it as a fraction. So let's take a look at our last digit all the way to the right of our decimal. Our last digit is the 5, which is 2 units to the right of the decimal. Going back to the example in the bottom left part of the screen, our second unit to the right of the decimal is our hundredths unit. So now we know that our 5, which is also two units to the right of our decimal, is also in the hundredths unit. And since our last digit is in the hundredths unit, we know that our fraction is also going to be out of 100. And how many hundredths do we have? We have 75 hundredths. So in the numerator, I'm going to put 75. Once again, we always need to simplify the fraction as much as possible. The 75 and the 100 can both be divided by 25 evenly. So I'm going to divide the top and bottom by 25. And if we simplify everything, we still have our whole number of 1. And in our fraction, we have 75 divided by 25 in our numerator, which is 3. And we have 100 divided by 25 in our denominator, which is 4. So the decimal, 1.75, written as a fraction, is 1 and 3 fourths. So here are some more videos with more example problems related to the video you just watched. I really hope you are finding my tutorials helpful. So until my next video, I will see you later.